Hello guys. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing good. I missed you guys. So I'm guided to come here today to do a mid-month check-in, okay? Um, let's see what's going on in the energy. I, um, not sure exactly what is going on. I'm in more very much so in the surrendering and letting go energy. Just trying to balance out, you know, um, everything in my life. Still working on my healing. Trying to stay grounded. Hope, hopefully you guys are doing the same thing. I might need to get a new lighter. Um, guys are emailing me, checking in on me. I post readings on, regularly on Instagram. So if you guys don't have Instagram, then... There's a divine reason why I'm not, I don't post every day or regularly like everybody else. First of all, I'm not like everyone else. And I tend to do it when I'm guided. But also it's um, something about that I just got in meditation about not, you know, us needing to work on learning how to listen to our own messages, our own guidance, our own intuition and not be dependent or codependent on you know, um, readings all the time, right? That there's got to be a nice balance between work, family, your healing, your personal life, the present moment, things like that, okay? So, um, all right. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the family. If you guys are returning, thank you for your loyalty, your support, your devotion. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Keep in mind, you guys, that this is general. So this may or may not resonate. All of it may resonate. Some of it may resonate. None of it may resonate, right? So leave it for who. Take what does. Don't give your power away to a reader. And um, leave the rest for others, okay? Cross-watchers that could be in your energy and speaking directly to you. So please feel free to reverse the roles if need be. Um, let's see. You guys could follow me on Instagram. I post, like I just said, I post uh, guided uh, channeled messages and downloads there. I also post readings there as well. So, um, all right, you guys. For my Aquarius loves spirit. What is going on here? What is the Aquarius collective energy? What is happening for the rest of September for Aquarius? If you guys would like to schedule a personal reading with me, that information to that is going to be in the description box below. You can email me or DM me. I only have one Instagram account. Um, I will not ever uh, post anything in the comments or message you guys, asking you guys if you guys would like for me to... Um, refer uh what is it that they're saying these scammers um consider you for a reading i would never do that i only have one instagram account that's infinite underscore love 1111 so if you get any messages from anybody please block them or report them please um do not give them your money thank you for keeping the community safe and us safe okay um from scammers okay all right spirit let me go ahead and connect with the energy and um We'll see what Spirit has to say for the rest of September here, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit, for the Aquarius Collective Spirit. What is going on for the rest of September here for the Aquarius Collective? We have By the Book. Wow, love this card. Woo, and this is great for Aquarius especially, right? Because we're the rebels. <laughs> 
So um, when this card appears, it's the number 11. When this card appears, so what, what this is saying is you're, you're doing things by, by the book, by, by the laws of the universe. You're following the laws of the universe. You're not rebelling against spirit. You're getting your guidance. You're getting your messages. And you're actually following through. You're not being resistant. You're not being rebelli rebellious, right? You are shooting the straight and arrow, right? Regarding according to your code of conduct, right? Morals, values, and integrity. You're doing things by the book. And it's because of that that things are getting ready to change for you. Okay, things are changing for you. What else here for the Aquarius Collective? Fork in the road. This is that kind of like indecisive energy, okay? Um, this fork in the road, you're being guided. This actually showed up for the new moon and Virgo reading. This new moon energy is trying to push you forward, trying to push you to make a decision regarding something, okay? I'm hearing, should I stay or should I go? Should I wait, hold on, or should I let go, right? So let's see, what else for the Aquarius Collective? I would say let go, okay? Um, not, don't focus on the, on the how, focus on the why. Because if you focus on the why, the how always presents itself to you, okay? So um, how is more masculine energy? What is this, Spirit? It's chocolate. I got chocolate on my hands, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, how is more masculine energy yeah be more flexible yeah exactly the how is um is that doing energy right of over analyzing over analytical um logical overthinking planning doing right that's very masculine energy of Again, the how, I'm, I'm hearing spirits say, have faith here, okay? Um, and being flexible is the opposite of fixed energy, right? Because the fixed energy, we, we're always doing, we're always, you know, in our head space, um, thinking about 10, we're 10 steps ahead, thinking about the future. We, um, a lot of times we, we use a lot of our past stuff to, to direct us where to go next, right? Um, and, and. Spirit is saying right now, please, for you to for you to see your path, for you to see your way forward, to focus on the why, not on the how, and to have faith, to come back to center. I just did a grounding meditation and an inner child healing guided meditation. Um, and yesterday I did crown. So I'm really, really working on grounding my energy because I've also been feeling a little distracted lately, okay? Um this is past, future, and the here and now. And this right here is not fixed sign energy, right? Being flexible to change. So this is something there, that it is going to take, you know, us really taking a breath, coming back to center, being in the energy of um, present moment and feminine energy. So we can be flexible. Feminine energy is very flexible. It's fluid, right? Feminine energy is surrender, receiving, allowing, flowing, and letting go. That's how we're going to be flexible to these changes. So this is about being flexible also, um, um, not sticking, not being fixed on one way that you're wanting to manifest something. Be flexible, let the universe come in and help you out. Um, let the universe present to you and show you a different way. Maybe it's time to take a step back and take a look at a situation from a different perspective here. There's something that's not for you that you're being asked to walk away from, right? And leave behind. And you already know what that is. The fork in the road is because there's a lot of focus on the how instead of on the why. Why are we doing this, right? What The why, matter of fact, um, there's a card in this deck here that is reminding me of this, this energy that I'm getting here. It's the have faith card, okay, which is Aquarius energy, star card energy, right, of having faith. Yep, here it is, number 22. And if you guys are seeing 222 a lot or 444 a lot, um, even 555, right? 22. I'm going to read to you guys the message that I'm getting here from this flexible yang energy and the here and now with the fork in the road, right? Um, have faith, okay? Um, 
Faith requires you to believe in something that is not yet evident to the naked eye. To generate more faith, focus on the why, your dreams, desires, feelings, attitudes, and thinking, and not on the how, which is more of this yang energy, right? And being fixed in a specific way that you want things to manifest. Um, the how, and not on the how, which is action plan, yang energy, right? Action plan, strategy, skills. Your whole life you've been taught to think about the how, yang energy, masculine energy, which leads to doubt and fear, which keeps you kind of stuck, not being very flexible to change, right? Or flexible from seeing a situation from a different perspective, um, which leads to doubt and fear. The wisdom of this card, the have faith card, is asking you to only focus on the why, the magic that will happen if you stop focusing on the how and only on the why is that after some time of practice, you will notice that the way forward, the how, will present itself to you, okay? It is through your focused positive thinking that you will create people, circumstances, and events that will take you closer to your dreams. What you have mostly done is to focus on the how, which has made you doubt yourself. This is why spirit is saying to be more flexible. And I think that if you're doing things by the book here, if that's the case, either this is a message to do things by the book, right? Or, or this is the energy you're currently in. You are being more flexible, okay? Um, but let's see where the message is going to take us. Um, it is through your focused... Ah, where was I? The magic that will happen if you stop focusing on the how and only on the why is that after some time of practice you will notice that the how will present itself to you. It is through your focused positive thinking that you will create people, circumstances, and events that will take you closer to your dreams. What you have mostly done is focus on the how, which has made you doubt yourself. This means that you are vibrating negative thoughts into the universe, keeping your dreams away. Remember, you were created to be a co-creator here on earth, designed for achievement. Faith is knowing that everything is going to work out the best possible way, no matter how things look like. Yep, that's the message that I'm getting here. That faith is needed. What else here, Spirit? So there's a fork in the road, right? So that decision needs to be made. So this is a number four. It's about foundations and achievement, maybe your stability, your home. Um, third eye may need to work. Crown chakra may need work as well as root. What else? And solar plexus I'm getting here for you guys. What else spirit for the Aquarius Collective? Yang energy. Again, there's a reason that was at the bottom of the deck and here it is again. Yang energy. Somebody needs to take action, right? But it, it, it again, there needs to be a balance between the yin and the yang. The, the yin energy is energy of receiving, of flowing, of allowing, right? And then when you get that download, that guided message, kind of like when I do my readings, right? When I get a strong pull, a guided, a, a message, a channeled message or a download to do a reading, that's when I take action and I do it. But before taking action, I'm meditating, yang, yin energy of receiving the message. I receive the message, then I take action on it, okay? For some of you guys, the overthinking may be creating um, a block, right? A block. It, overthinking is also procrastination and it is also... Um, uh, an energy of perfectionism, which we're in Virgo energy right now. And that can be very strong, okay, of needing, paying attention to the details and needing something to be perfect before taking action, right? Needing, first, um, what is it that quote, that quote, it says, um, ego says, Ego says, if I have this, this, this in order, and then I'll find peace, right? But that's not how that works. That's the ego, right? Spirit saying, find peace first, the why, right? Find peace first, and then everything will present itself. Then everything will come into order for you. Building blocks, building slowly, little by little. What else for the Aquarius Collective Spirit, please? Regeneration. Woo! Just today alone and flexible again. You got to be flexible because you're going through a lot of changes. And co-create. Absolutely. <laughs> co-create, right? Going around and around regarding some kind of decision here, right? That's not... If you're going around and around and around or things are repeating itself here, that's, that, that's a message all in itself, right? That it's time to go in. 
here and see how can we be flexible? How can we co-create asking the why? I'm sorry, I just said how, right? Why? Why are, are we going around and around and around, right? I, I see, I'm doing it also. I'm asking the how, right? How can we... Actually, you can ask that when you're asking um, spirit, you know, for guidance regarding regarding co-creation, right? And, um, and flexibility, I guess. There's a fine line. It's like a catch-22 when, we, when we're talking about that, right? The hows and the whys of things, you know? Because spirit wants you to ask for guidance. Spirit wants you to ask questions, right? But also spirit wants you to not not stay in this this round and around energy but also surrender to receiving the answers when you do ask right don't stay in this analysis paralysis energy so um co-creation is action is needed to co-create so whatever it is that you're wanting that you're trying to decide on here aquarius whatever this is um for you it's actually going to take you taking action to co-create basically if you're manifesting a move right and you, you don't want to or you want to change jobs right co-creation is you setting setting forth the law of attraction energy of looking for looking for the apartment going to look at different ones or houses right going to look at different houses right put setting the law of attraction in motion here okay and and preparing for it right getting boxes to pack your house right even if you haven't found a place yet you know so that you so you're in that case you're already in the energy you're already feeling it you're already believing it's going to happen in that case the universe can now step in and support you okay if you're trying to um manifest your manifestation can come to fruition without co-creation and without action. A lot of people don't know what this means, so I'm going to actually read that from the book, okay? And and also, whatever it is that you're creating, whatever it is that you're manifesting, um, it's not going to come the, the way your ego and the timing of your ego or the way your ego wants it to come. It's going to come in um, different, right? So that's what spirit wants you to be flexible about. You're going through a lot of changes. You're going through a regeneration, a rising from the ashes as the phoenix. As a matter of fact, that card jumped today. Ego, phoenix, and the sun for the for uh, Instagram, the reading I did for, for the collective on Instagram. Okay, so, so whatever you're indecisive about here with the fork in the road, it could be about a job, a home could be about a relationship, could be about a divorce, could be about a new relationship. It's going to be different for everyone. But whatever it is, it's requiring for you to co-create and step into masculine energy of action. Okay? So if you're manifesting love and you haven't met someone yet, co-create with spirit is prepare for it. How do we prepare for it? We um, become the energy of what we're trying to attract, right? So if you want to attract somebody that has self-love and that has operates from a place of virtue, values, morals, and integrity, we have to become that energy. So we have to heal our self-love, right? Um, heal any kind of inner child healings, heal any kind of codependencies. That's, that's already co-creating. That's already preparation energy to attract and healthy love, right? You want to clear your closet, leave a space for this person, even though you haven't met them yet, right? You want to put yourself out there. Um, you know, clearly it's, you're not going to find love if you don't leave your house, right? So, um, Things like that. Let's just open yourself up. Set that intention and hold your vision. We don't hold your vision by obsessing about it or or staying in the energy of lack, right? Over there's again, there's that fine line between the masculine and the feminine energy, okay? We don't stay in the energy of lack, going around and around in the same the same stuff, right? Um, if you are there's something that came to me. What was it? If you're not letting go, if you're not letting go and you're holding on too tightly to a certain person or a situation or an outcome, right, you are in the energy of lack and, and you're going to attract more of that in because you're telling the universe that you don't have it, okay? So again, you got you to gotta be able to shift back and forth between the yin and the yang, knowing when it's time to co-create and knowing when it's time to receive. And... Um, 
be very flexible because what you're asking for is not going to come in the packaging or in, in, in the way that you're wanting it to come or expecting it to come, would like it to come. Your way forward is going to not going to be the way, the way you have envisioned it. Okay. It's going to be better. And also if you're looking to meet someone new, be very flexible and open-minded because again, it may not be your same, your usual type and expectation and be very patient because you are still kind of in between worlds and there is still an energy of, of patience here because you're still going through a regeneration. I actually want to read, um, I want to read co-create so you guys can have a very good understanding of what this means, right? And, um, regeneration from the book. Co-create is a 40. I love the regeneration card. We're going, you're going, you're going through such a, such a change, such a important, you know, spiritual change on a deep soul level. You're, you're not the same person. You're not going to be the same person that you are today in a month in two months in a year from now. Okay. You're not, you're a completely different person right now as we speak. You're going through a massive transformation, Aquarius. So some of you guys already went through this. Some of you guys are still going through this. Some of you guys are getting ready to rise from the ashes. As the Phoenix here. I think that's my dog knocking on my door. Or no. Okay, I'm doing a reading. Hi, Jackie. So I told you it was my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, hi baby. He lo always likes to sit underneath my chair when I'm doing a reading. All right, here we go. Co-create, co-create. I'm gonna read this for you guys. Creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, and manifestation. You may not consider yourself a creative person, but in fact, you are creating your reality every moment of every day via your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, intentions, and actions. Yet, you must consider that you do so in partnership with spirit, consciousness, God, or whatever name you call your higher power. You are a spark of this intelligence that works through you, nudging you with inspired thought and intuitive guidance. You are a paintbrush that co-creates a beautiful, unique expression of your own individuality blended with universal spirit. You are a product of divine inspiration, and now you're aligned with it to create miracles. When you view your life as art and know you co-create it, only beauty and grace result. Prepare to be amazed. Wow, 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 wow. And then the protection message here. So this is a protection message. You are trying too hard to create all that you desire. Again, yang energy. Like I said, for some of you guys, that's the case, right? Needing to be more flexible. Needing to let go of micromanaging and controlling the universe. Trying to drive the wheel of fortune here, right? Be more flexible. Too much masculine energy of doing, doing, doing. May need, what I got here is once you take a step back and you allow the regeneration process and you're a little bit more flexible, the feminine energy of fluidity, of flowing, right? There, like again, there's a fine line, right? Um, between you're kind of stuck here in the fork in the road. Maybe it's because you're not let, being flexible, not letting the universe help you, right? Not letting the universe open doors, not letting the universe guide you because there is the, the feminine energy here needs to needs to come in, needs to step in and step up, needs to come into balance with the creativity, with the fluidity, right? With the flowing and allowing and surrendering, okay? So this takes work. This isn't easy to balance out the masculine and the feminine energy, especially since Aquarius is naturally a masculine uh, ruled sign, right? So, um, so right now, so if you want to heal or, or to step into feminine energy, I would do sacral chakra, guided meditation, Sacral chakra is your feminine energy chakra, right? And um, step into meditation. Do third eye sacral chakra meditation, okay? And even root. Root is every day regardless. So, okay, back to this. You are trying too hard to create all that you desire without, without nur the nurturing vital force of spirit. Perhaps you are in a creative slump, suffering writer's block, facing a, monument a monumental task, but unable to decide on your first step. 
So you just avoid doing anything. So that's that perfectionism energy, like really fixated on something being a certain way, right? Does the word overwhelmed apply to you right now? Why do you think it all has to come down to come down to you? Inspiration means the drawing in the divine. Ah, come on, spirit. Inspiration means the drawing in of divine guidance. You must tap into spirit, not, not simply yourself. Ask spirit for inspiration. Like I said earlier, asking spirit the hows and the whys, right? Not yourself. We're asking spirit, which is very different. Um, two minds are greater than one. So co-create with your divine partner. Reclaim your partnership with spirit. Inspiration will flow through you as soon as you get out of your own way. Yes. So again, creativity and inspiration, okay? So balance out the masculine and the feminine, the solar plexus and the sacral chakra and root chakra. Brian Scott has a great um, um, chakra series. So does Unlock Your Life. That's the one I just used today for the root chakra meditation. Let's read Regeneration. And then we'll find out where you are with this regeneration with the tarot spirit. So there's a like a, a rush energy is what I'm feeling, a frustration, even an overwhelm. That's what I got. So um, spirit just wants you right now. You're going through a rebirth. Regeneration means rebirth, second chances and new opportunities. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or a loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful, growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous of ways. Woo-wee! A protection message. Let me read that. Endings come in many forms and now is the time to stop holding on to what must die some yeah something that's not round and round that you're going around and around with could be this fork in the road could be something that you guys are are wanting to leave behind here that you're feeling very strong pull and a strong call to do that okay um Endings come in many forms, and now is the time to stop holding on to what must die so that something better can take its place. Nature cycles include disease, decay, death, and regeneration. Let whatever isn't working in your life die. Don't be afraid to face the facts. There is no need to struggle or grieve. Whatever you query, let it go. You're about to be reborn. Ooh -wee. I love that. All right, let's find out a little bit more about this spirit, please. Which deck do I want to use? I also got some shadow work deck. I got a shadow work deck in the mail that I actually want to use to see what shadow work Aquari the Aquarius Collective needs to work on for the second half of September spirit. What shadow work does the Aquarius Collective need to work on? And there's a meditation for every single one, every single shadow work, okay, that, that you need to do. Let's see what shadow work does the Aquarius Collective need to work on, Spirit? What shadow work does the Aquarius Collective need to work on? What shadow does the Aquarius Collective need to work on right now so they can move forward? Boundaries and manipulative what else? Oops. Shame. Shame. One more spirit for the Aquarius Collective. Well, that's a lot. Uh, I got uncompromising here. Think about being fair and working in harmony with other people. We are very fair. So let's see. What else for the Aquarius Collective? What shadow does the Aquarius Collective need to focus on, be aware of, and work on for the... For the last few weeks quick tempered <laughs> aquarius you don't say <laughs> all right um and fearful at the bottom of the deck a learned behavior that can be unlearned also a low vibrational a low vibrating feeling that creates limitations for you and your future happiness i see that here right there could be some fear here regarding co-creating and taking action so we have boundaries Develop healthy, 
Develop healthy boundaries to make sure you are emotionally and mentally stable. It's okay to say no. We've been talking about this for a long time, right? Self-love, not letting people's um, energy interfere with our energy here. No, don't create cords of attachments. Um, you know, when you don't set boundaries, it's a codependent um, energy. And it also is, um, um, it, it builds resentment, right? So, um and it really is a message to us to let us know that why are we overdoing? Why are we overgiving? Why are we saying yes when we mean no, when we want to say no, right? What is it that we want from these people? Which leads me to manipulative, right? Manipulative. Let go of wanting to exert power over someone or a situation. Do you need to work on your self-esteem? So the boundaries and the manipulative energy goes hand in hand, okay? So, um... This is a shadow, right, of an, of an Aquarius um, energy here. And, it's, and a lot of times, you know, the Aquarius uh, collective don't even know that they're doing it, you know. It comes, it comes from a place of fear, right? Fear of loss, fear of loss of, of, of your own sense of self, you know. It's, it's going to play out differently for you guys. But again, it's a shadow. So, you know, we all have shadow and light as long as we are able to become aware of it and balance it out balance out the shadow and the light become comfortable become intimate with the dark right and and honor it right and accept ourselves accept our shadow accept our darkness and go within and become very aware when we're doing these things and and use affirmations to transmute the energy and alchemize the energy and come back to center right there's a meditation for everything let go of wanting to exert power over someone or a situation do you need to work on your self-esteem so again this is solar plexus energy right and um root chakra it, it comes from fear come this comes from fear so we have a learn, fearful, a learned behavior that can be unlearned. Also, a low vibrating feeling that creates limitations for you and your future happiness. Then we have here shame. You are not flawed. That's sacral chakra, feminine energy here. So there is a, a, a sense of low self-esteem or insecurity, a lack of self-worth that's keeping you stuck here, right? Fearful energies. And this is the stuff that's being rebirthed, that's, being, um, that's dying out within you okay this uh this lower vibrational energy the ego right unhealthy ego fear all of that even the quick temper this is the shadow stuff all of that that's what's being changed here so um that that's what's the decay that's the, the that's what's done for that's what needs to go you are not flawed you are so worthy of love and belonging. Forgive yourself for not giving yourself enough self-love. This takes a long time to heal. It took me years to heal this. This is sacral chakra, okay? This is sacral chakra. We carry shame, guilt, and regret there when it is unbalanced, okay? That's the feminine energy. And also we carry a lot of our traumas in our womb area, sacral chakra, the sexual chakra, right below the navel, right above the pubic, okay? And the color is orange. So this is how you do this work, right? Once you once you do shadow work and you heal your shadow, you also um, help to heal the collective. And then we have quick tempered. Don't lose your shit. I said that in the um, September reading, right? When I saw the five of swords, I'm like, don't lose your shit. It's not worth it. You know, quick tempered. Think before you speak. Put peace between your thoughts and the words that come out. So throat chakra and heart chakra as well, right? So um, remember, I keep having to tell you, remind you guys this, and I even remind myself this. What will love do? <laughs> See only love. What will love, bring love into the situation at all times? All right, spirit. Um, please clarify. Let's see where we are with this regeneration. Please clarify regeneration for the Aquarius Collective. Regeneration. I don't want this reading to be long because I don't want it to take all night for it to load. Especially since we are already in the shadow. This is time of reflection, of going within, of revising, of redoing. All the re's, right? Because we are entering, or we already are in the Mercury retrograde shadow shadow period. And um, I think on the 26th, Mercury does go retrograde. Venus just entered Scorpio. So we're really looking at some, some looking in, 
looking into the depths of our sexuality, the depths of our love for ourselves and for the people in our lives, loyalties, right? We're looking at that. We're looking at all right now. Regeneration spirit. Where is the Aquarius collective for regeneration? Please clarify regeneration for the Aquarius, for, the, for my subscribers, spirit. Please clarify regeneration for my subscribers. Regeneration. <laughs> yeah, this is like, um, this is reminding me of that card from the animal spirit deck of um, beginner's mind here, right? Time for beginner's mind. So, um, I see the pages as also being your inner child, right? You're healing. You've been healing your inner child for a long time. And it's like, now it's like you're stepping into this, uh, new, this rebirth energy with a child, like, you know, um, feeling of this is all new. This is a new life. This is a new beginning. I'm seeing things from fresh eyes, right? But also the pages, this is like maybe something that you're starting also in the physical world as far as career. That's brand spanking new to you that you've never done before, right? Um, this is, pages are the messengers. They're also the students, you know? They're, they're still in the learning process of, of the growth. So you're still, so I'm getting you just, you're blossoming. You're just getting started. Be very, look back during this um, shadow period uh, at how far you've come and be very proud of yourself of how far you've come, right? There's still, look at that fork in the road, right? Two of swords. There's still, you know, a decision that needs to be made, a very important decision that needs to be made is what I'm getting. What else can you tell me about regeneration for the Aquarius Collective? So this is the start of something brand new. And you don't, you don't have to manipulate anyone or anything or not even yourself, right? Boundaries, key here. Release your fear, root chakra energy. This, this lack of boundaries and the manipulative energy is coming. And even the quick tempered is coming from fear. Okay. And also it's coming from, um, resentment anger, still heart chakra stuff, okay, that we still have to work on. For some of you, this is not for everybody. Um, regener yeah, you're going through a lot of changes right now. Uh-huh. We saw this in the last reading. It's still showing up here for the second half. Regeneration for the Aquarius Collective. This is something to actually celebrate. This is good news here because you're going through, you're becoming a brand new person. Regeneration for the Aquarius Collective Spirit, please. Regeneration for the Aquarius Collective. Woo-wee! The card of regeneration just showed up. So death, Scorpio energy, you may have Scorpio in your chart. Don't have to be, right, um, to go through this, uh, to go through this, what the archetype of Scorpio is represented, representative of. Um, We've been seeing this card a lot. This, uh, this, uh, the Scorpio energy, Pluto and Mars energy has been showing up for us for a very, very long time. Almost every reading, right? So this is the card of rebirth, of regeneration, right? Of second chance, of changes on a deep, deep, deep soul level, okay? Rising from the ashes is the phoenix here. A lot of fi fire, right? Yang energy of action. But this could also be... It's tied to some procrastination here. It's tied to some, this procrastination is, is keeping your hap, is, is stalling and, and holding back this new beginning, this happiness. This is that life spark energy, that recovery, right? The waiting period here, the divine timing, right? This is what we need to work on. When is it time to take action and when is it time to receive? I feel like you're ready with this page of pentacles, right? You're standing up. You have, you're, you're holding your gift. You're holding your opportunity. You're holding your offer. You're holding your, uh, whatever this is that's new, brand new for you, okay? This offer, you're holding it in your hand. So the overthinking and the stalling and the procrastination, that's not co-creating, right? That's taking way too long here. There's a lot of uh, possibilities, a lot of opportunities. This is um, needing to create a practical plan. 
This is the practical knight, right? That's very cautious. This is uh, this knight here is the longest, takes the longest. It's the slowest moving knight, right? It's the procrastinating knight. This is two cards of procrastination, being overly cautious, right? And, and I understand why. You don't want to repeat the same mistakes, right? You don't want to attract in the same stuff, the same type of fuckery from the past, right? It's very understandable. You're kind of still fragile, kind of still wobbly right out of this rebirth. Take your time, but make sure that you are listening to your guidance, that you are listening to your intuition, that you are paying attention to the signs and synchronicities, and you are actually moving one baby step at a time. Right, knowing when to take action, knowing when to not take action. There's a lot of could be possibly a lot of distractions going on right now. Okay. This is like not needing to ground your energy. This knight, he has the ace of pentacles. The ace of pentacles it takes the longest to manifest, right? It takes the longest to manifest. It's the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So again, requiring action on your part to bring this about, okay? Okay, spirit. Um, there's a lot of doors opening up. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of opportunities here. That's why you need to be very... That It's understandable energy of being cautious, right? To making sure you don't make the wrong decision. As long as you are connected to your intuition, the I feel chakra uh, cups, right? And you are um, listening to your intuition and following your intuition. As long as you are taking that step, Right, I'm getting work smarter, not harder. All these branches here, there is there another way, right? Is there another way? That's why spirit is saying be very flexible to a different way of doing something here. Okay, um, it might be you might it might be time to change something. It might be time to change something here. So um, to change, look at all your options, right? Not just one way of fixed, fixated on one way of doing things here. Stra it's like about strategy, right? Strategy. Yeah. Also, let, let it be presented to you. Let it be presented to you. Wow. So you guys are in the snack in the middle of a rebirth right now as we speak. Things are happening. Things are starting to move here, right? This is that rising from the ashes as the Phoenix card. What can you tell me about death here for Aquarius for regeneration spirit? Death. So things are showing up for you right now, Aquarius, that you're needing to make decisions on and think on your feet, right? But again, with the flexibility card, this is key here because it's like, it's like, some of you guys might want it, wanting something to be a certain way or your way, right? When spirit is saying, let me show you, let me show you this other cup or this other cup, right? It's perspective, right? And, and looking at it from taking a step back to look at the bigger picture here, right? That's what I'm getting. Death, clarified death and the page of pentacles for regeneration. There's something you're doing brand spanking new here. Could be in w regarding work, something in the physical world, right? <sighs> Huge transformation energy. Death, clarified death for regeneration. Yeah, it's taking time. Woo wee! <laughs> you're leaving it all behind for your nine of cups. Yes, yes, yes. Leaving it all behind, right? Letting it go, letting it die. We read it from the book. Whatever needs to go, needs to go because you're being guided here with the moon energy, feminine energy to go go on the spiritual quest, the spiritual journey, right? Into the darkness to get to wholeness. This is complete and total emotional fulfillment here, an emotional independence and emotional satisfaction towards your wish, towards feeling really good, right? This is also self-care and self-love energy here, okay? Um, yes, this is why this is all happening here, okay? So it, the reason why it's taking a lot of time is because you are you are... Planting seeds during this process. We saw the, the Knight of Pentacles, right? This is you planting a lot of seeds here. And also the, the, the Seven of Pentacles, this rebirth, 
This rebirth takes a long time, right? Years for some. So here it is. You've been planting a lot of seeds. You've been doing the healing work. You've been connecting with the cosmos, right? You have been ascending into your higher self, into your own element, becoming the star, right? The ascending into your humanitarian, into your healing energy to become a healer for some of you guys, right? This is a card of meditation, of faith, of hope, of destiny, of stars are aligning, right? And, and, and of a wish fulfillment here, okay? This is your element, your energy, and it has taken you a long time. This is you coming, showing the world a real you, stepping into this very cosmic, beautiful energy of rawness and realness, right? And being your true authentic self in your individuality, right? Unapologetically you, in your element, right? So there are Aquariuses that are not in their higher self, that are operating from a manipulative place, fearful place, from shame, from quick-tempered, right? That are still in the process of getting rid of all of this energy, healing from this energy here, and rising into the energy of seeing only love, what will love do, unconditional love, self-worth, right? Um, yes, and, and it's been a process, it, it's a journey. You went on a journey, on a spiritual journey, a spiritual quest, the sacred path here, right? To get to this complete and total f f um, energy of self-love. And then we have this, this seven of pentacles is about cause and effect, right? It's about you reap what you sow. It's about the seeds that you planted in the past or have been planting during this healing and this regeneration process, if you've been going through it for years, it's now coming to fruition for you. It's ready for the picking. It's ready, basically. That's why Spirit is saying, here it is. It's ready. You're, you're, it's ready for the picking. So now it's time to take action on whatever it is. Some of you guys have been awakening to your spiritual gifts. This is a gift that came in from your creator, which is your soul's gift, right? Um, it's an offering. It could be an offering, a physical offering. This is like doors opportunity are opening up. And, and the divine is sending you um, help, offerings, blessings, opportunities through people. So check your emails, right? Um, opportunities are coming in now. Uh, you have been spending a lot of time. The seven stars is represented by the seven chakras. Meditating, right? This is the healing waters of renewal, okay? And it's like when you pour... In the other decks, it's the star card, and then she's pouring in, it's this um, energy, this genie energy here, and she's pouring into the waters, right? And it's creating a ripple effect, okay? So the work that you're doing on yourself is creating a ripple effect in the collective, because the Aquarius energy represents the collective, right? We are the collective. So um, this is beautiful. This is also you um, watering your own garden, drinking from your own vessel, giving to yourself here in the self-care energy. Like I always say, um, acceptance, surrender. When we're in this regeneration energy, acceptance, surrender, and self-care. So this is you planting your own seeds, um, watering your garden, doing the self-care work right? Focusing on your abundance, focusing on your, the future, focusing on what you're investing, co-creating with spirit, taking action, being very flexible here on what's to come, right? We have two fixed energy here. We have earth and water, right? And air with the Aquarius here and fire. We saw that. So beautiful. So we have Scorpio and Aquarius. That's two fixed energies. Okay. So that's why the flexible card is here. So if there's a way that you could be a little bit more flexible in, in, you know, um, in the fruits of your labor, regarding the fruits of your labor, right? So this is you collecting, enjoying the fruits of your labor at this time, right? Enjoying it to the fullest, celebrating even. Okay. Having a drink or two, enjoying yourself, relaxing and resting, allowing things to come in, right? And knowing when it's time to take action. Beautiful. So the seven of pentacles is also an, a card of divine timing. And it's a card of waiting and patience. It's also a card of reviewing, taking the time to take a step, again, uh, Mercury and shadow, taking the time to take a step back to review how far you've come, review your investments, how is it going, right? Taking taking the moment here 
to, since we're kind of in the fork in the road, it's time to take a step back, like I said, and review here, right? What, how should we continue to invest in this or not? This is a self, this is a reflection energy here of thinking, right? Um, is, is, is what I'm planting fruitful? Is it, is it coming to fruition? Can I, can I, can I eat? off of this am i getting anything in return from my from my investments here right is it balanced you know this is you going through all of your life doing a life review going through everything and checking to see check marking to see is this a keeper or a not a keeper and this could be regarding friends family work things in your home decluttering your home doing a complete cleanse right letting whatever needs to go go death Letting it go. Checking every fruit from your tree. Is this good or is this spoiled? Does this, can I eat this? Or do I have to let it go? Especially now that we're switching seasons. This is the season of letting go. Fall, right? So that we, it, things can die. So when spring comes around, right? This is a time to plant. This is a harvest time right uh, yes fall this is the harvest time time to check in on on your on your seeds on your fruits that you planted now it's time to receive so know when it's time to receive and when it's time to um you know action when it's time for action right if you don't know something then take a take a step back take a pause step into feminine energy of contemplation, of assessment, observation, right? Yes, beautiful. Okay, all right, you guys. Let's see here. Monology, as usual. Spirit for the Aquarius Collective. I will pull from the romance angels. As you can see, I'm not really talking about love, but this can play out in a lot of different ways for you guys. Take it how it resonates. This is more general. For the Aquarius Collective, spirit message for the Aquarius Collective. Hold your vision. Beautiful. Co-create. Hold your vision. Yeah, there's a huge energy here. I said earlier in the reading regarding having faith. Adjustments are required. This is where we're looking to see what do we need to change or fix, adjust, right? Regarding this, take a take a step back, take a pause, okay? And do not, under any circumstances, regarding how long something is taking to manifest, let your vision go. What is your vision? Maybe it's time to reflect on that, right? Reflect on it. Do you remember what it is? What is this vision of yours? Um, don't give up hope on it, right? Just because it's taken a long time, you're still going through a rebirth here. Hold your fixed energy. For some of you guys, um, there is an energy of needing to be more flexible regarding your vision, okay? Basically, what I mean is release the attachment of the outcome, but hold the vision. Know that it's already yours. The wish is already the, the dream, the wish upon a star, the wish that you put out there is already set in motion, right? It's already yours. It's already yours. It's already mine. I'm already celebrating. I'm already celebrating. I'm already in complete and total emotional fulfillment. Even if you haven't walked away yet and you're still in the process of doing so, you're doing so because you're visualizing this energy. You're feeling this energy, right? You're making, you're shrouded. You, while you're in the fork in the road here, you are already planning and strategizing this feeling, what this is going to feel like, what this looks like for you. What does it feel like to have your wish, your vision, right? Yes. But a lot of you guys, you know who you are. Some of you guys, um, it's time for action right and, and and it's like it's time to receive the guidance and the message feminine energy and then it's time to co-create with whatever it is that you're getting don't second guess yourself don't second guess don't doubt 
faith. Faith. I saw the Wheel of Fortune also. What else for the Aquarius Collective Spirit? Communication is key. New Moon in Gemini. So for some of you guys, this is what this is what's needed here. And I keep talking about that on Instagram. How the communication is is super important here. So maybe you guys are gonna get communication that's going to come in. Some of you guys are holding stuff back here. Show the world the real you. Here we go. Aquarius energy. Show the world the real you. Communicate, throat chakra, creative expression. Call in Archangel Michael. So whatever it is that you guys are in the process of working on putting out or in the process of doing, it's going to be a win-win. That's for sure, right? It's requiring for you to use your voice to show just being yourself, right? Showing the world who you really are here, okay? I kind of, should I read that from the book spirit? I don't, for the sake of time, I don't think so. Okay, let's see here, Aquarius from the Moonology. That, I'm sorry, not the Moonology, the Romance Angels. One message regarding love. Matter of fact, spirit, hold on. Show the world the real you. Clarify that. Full moon in Aquarius. We just had this uh, full moon not too long ago. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Come out of hermit mode. Come out of hermit mode. There's somebody that's coming out of hermit mode. Right? This is Virgo energy. There's somebody that's getting ready to come out of hermit mode. So I didn't, you know, I was going to talk about love. I wasn't going to talk about love. If love showed up, okay. But here it is. There's a reconciliation energy from somebody from your past or a past life. It's either you met this person or you haven't yet, but you did in a past life, right? There is a, a mutual love here. Two people missing each other, having nostalgia. Somebody's getting ready to... Basically, if you are manifesting love, there's Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Two tens here. The ending of one cycle and the beginning of another. That's going to be very abundant, right? And lucrative and prosperous and successful here. So we have here an energy of, could be you, Aquarius, finally coming out of hermit mode in the energy of abundance, self-worth, self-esteem, self-love, nurturing, sensual, caring, nature, and nurture right successful energy here and when you are come out you're going to actually meet somebody new or this is about you showing this person that you met your true self right um not hiding anymore here you've done the work for a lot of you guys you're done with the work for a lot of you guys you're needing to go in here to discover who you really are find 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 yourself and then come find me or i'll find myself and, and, and with that energy of finding yourself, becoming whole, loving yourself, you will come across somebody that's also in the same energy, right? Some of you guys need, are still in this regeneration, needing to go in and do the work, right? The self-reflection, the introspection, Virgo energy. For others of you guys, um, you guys have been doing this work and now it's time to come out. Now it's time to come out. Time to come out of hermit mode here, right? And um, present yourself to the world in your new in your new energy, in your new grounded, stable, structured, secure energy of self worth, self love, right? This is a uh, heart chakra healing and root chakra, heaven and earth, even okay. And be very proud of your achievements here. When you do show the world the real you, and you step out and you take action here, and you and you display your gifts, put your gifts on display. It's going to be extremely successful and extremely abundant here that you will attract in, even a partner in crime, right? A partner to that's going to see eye to eye with you, that's going to, you know, partnerships and alliances, right? You're going to attract in a soul family, soul tribe, a community. You're going to attract in a soul mate, right? A spiritual counterpart. Yes. So, but it's like co-creating is you have to, to, to come out. You have to do it. You have to take action. Spirit for the Aquarius. Did I shuffle this already? For the Aquarius Collective. 
reconciliation for the Aquarius Collective here. I, I like it. I like it, Aquarius. It's like baby steps, right? Taking the baby steps, knowing when, knowing when to go for it and what, knowing when not to. And not letting your shadows here be fearful and shame energy to interfere, right? With um with your goals. There's a lot of uh I, I'm so happy I'm not seeing, you know, um too much swords, right? Because this is um this means that you're more grounded and you're more in the I feel chakra, which is cups energy, you know, and pentacles for earth, right? So this, this is also telling me that it could be time to clear up your uh, root sacral chakra, solar plexus. I, I saw the two of swords a couple of times. So that's third eye, right? All right. Spirit guidance for Aquarius regarding love for the last couple of weeks in September. Make the effort, co-create, make the effort, yang energy. Somebody needs to make the effort here. If you're the masculine energy, I suggest that's you, right? Make the effort. Great love is worth you taking the steps you're guided to take, right? Um, if you guys are in, are the feminine energy, uh, co-create, co making the effort towards doing the self-love, self-worth, healing work here, going within. So that you can emerge as your true authentic self, right? Nice and whole, feeling whole and complete, okay? Um, but this really is about somebody is going to most likely um, is being guided here to take to co-create, step into masculine energy here and uh, be very flexible regarding their vision and how they want things to manifest. And they want a rebirth, a second start with you. This is somebody you've been investing in already and they're going to get ready to make the effort to come in towards you here soon it is a wish but the first they needed to leave something behind right what else for the aquarius collective spirit regarding love guidance for the aquarius collective regarding love pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so when i'm in the energy of missing red flags anymore but i'm also getting aquarius that for some of you guys some of you guys are probably could potentially be overly, overly cautious and looking for a red flag, right? Um, for some, for others of you guys, this is a very clear message here that um, you're being guided. Pay attention to the signs, how you feel. If it doesn't feel good, retreat, right? Retreat. If it's if you if you feel like the energy is becoming unbalanced, retreat. Okay. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So there's red flags for the Aquarius Collective that's in connections already. Okay, Spirit. Contradicting energy here. So again, it's, I'm going back to that uh, first initial thing that I said that I felt this in the other reading I did that this card came out. The pay attention to the red flags. It could also be that you're looking for the red flags. With her, with her um, over here, uh, looking underneath this uh, whatever she has on top of her, this this very guarded tent like energy, right? She's opening up to look for to look for it. Okay, so I say that because the next card is it is safe for you to love. So it is open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I feel like for some of you guys, you could potentially, because of fearful energy, that's a learned, a learned behavior that can be unlearned. Also a low vibrating feeling that creates limitations for you and your future happiness. For some of you guys, you could be looking for something, you know, uh, for something to, to, to withdraw your energy something to guard your energy, something to, to, to protect as a, as a protection mechanism, right? Because you went through so much in the past. So be aware, be conscious of that. Okay. There are such a thing where there is tr a true red flag. That's like so red and loud and in your face and you like completely ignoring it because of codependencies and lack of self lack of boundaries and lack of self-love and nothing or 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 being in a situation where you feel is too good to be true and you think that's the red flag right so um <laughs> make sure that you um 
pop into meditation if you're starting to feel a little weird, a little confused, like, wait a minute, what's the catch here, right? Perhaps there is no catch. You might be looking for one, but perhaps there isn't one, right? Because you're safe to love now. You've learned all your lessons. You closed out that chapter in your life, right, of, of lessons and pain. Remember, we closed this out, right? We close this out. We learn from this. But I understand if you've experienced this, why you would you would be afraid, be a little bit, you know, hesitant to open up your yourself to love again. Okay. But spirit is here telling you, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's safe to do so, right? Um, and then we have here a brand. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. There's a past, you're connecting with a past life soulmate, which they come into our life. Yeah, the codependency, exactly what I said. They come into our lives here um, to teach us a spiritual lesson of self-worth, self-love, unconditional love, right? So the second that you give the green light to the universe, that you, you are in the energy of feeling safe, you are in the energy of deserving and worthiness, right? Here it is. Your patience has paid off. There's movement here. There's the eight of wands, fast movement, incoming communication. Somebody that wants to come and sweep you off your feet. It's a sacred uh, past life relationship, right? And it is a passionate brand new beginning from God, source, the universe. It is safe for you to love. Okay, my loves, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Please reach out to me for... Um, your own personal session, your own personal healing session, okay? Thank you guys for all your likes, your shares, for subscribing, for your love, for your support, for your loyalty. Thank you guys for being gentle with yourselves and gentle with everyone else. I love you guys so much. Peace and blessings to you all. Namaste. Mwah. Much love. Take care.